This is a big one. The reason why I played it so strange and unusual is just to show that even such a big song, classic song like Private Investigation, this epic song from the epic album could be played basically within the first four frets of a guitar completely, should you use the right combination of chords and bass notes. I think it's one of the easiest hard songs that I know because it sounds so hard to play but that's more about the careful arrangement rather than true difficulty. And also it's good for singers because there is no singing in this song, more like losing poetry. This is also a study on slash chords and they call it slash chords because of the way it gets written down. They have different bass notes and like any chord could have at least two or even three ways of playing it. At first here is E minor. The second is B minor with D in the bass. Two rational ways of playing it. To A with C sharp in the bass. similar chords in a row here. Now G with B in the bass and F with A in the bass. Here is B with A in the bass or A7, B7 with A in the bass. I like this shape like this. 5 mute, 4 4 4 mute. Reminds me of your latest trick. minor with G in the bass, a couple of ways to do that. This one here I treat it not like a diminished chord, which it is. But more like F sharp 7 with G in the bass. Same thing with A, a minor. And F sharp in the bass, which you may call F sharp minor 7 flat 5, but to me it's A minor with an F sharp in the bass and B7. So that's why I can play it all down, down here or. Or like Mark did, or rhythm guitar player with his volume pedal did, he will go up the neck and play it here. I remember Mark said about this song that this is the song about writing songs. And it's true, any activity involving sitting alone for hours on a difficult task is your private investigation. Writing songs, solving crimes, learning guitar or even planning in a YouTube video. In our own ways we're all private detectives. He also said it's like a soundtrack for a movie and it's also true and it was in a slightly different version, a part of the Comfort and Joy soundtrack. 
it works great as an instrumental piece, that's for sure. Because in the actual song it's not even singing, it's more like telling a story. What I love about Private Instigation I Instigations is that it's one of these songs that people always play really well. Lots of renditions, instrumental or not. People seldom play a wrong chord because the song is so minimalistic and perfectly written. You almost can't play it not as it was intended, simply because it's so carefully written. And all the changes are so clear and of course any imperfection will stick out like a mountain. Even the chorus or a bridge has some slash chords. They get E minor, D with an F sharp and bass, G. And if you want to be exact, G with B in the bass, G with C in the bass, D major. Here is a cool experiment. I'll play the song without slash chords and listen to just how really bad it sounds. again with the proper bass and chord combination. Anyway, if you love this song, I encourage you to start a little investigation here on chord shapes before going crazy with all the blues lines and electric guitars. You can learn, learn so much by studying this song. Could I say more? Probably, but I think big songs like this speak for themselves and I think the coolest thing I shared here is this quote about private investigations being about re writing songs. And that's already worth the price of admission. I love that. Thanks for watching.